Welcome to our Foreign Languages Preparatory School. My name is Sozana Shorayiri. Today uh, we will have a uh, Richmond level reading Skillful 2 books, Unit 2. We will study from the Skillful book, as we see, Unit 2, page 26, together. Yes. Okay. As I just mentioned, our today topic is about food and it is Unit 2 from the Skillful 2 book. Okay. First, I want to have an introduction with you about the types, the methods of reading before of starting our units. Let's to look at these methodologies together. Skimming. Okay, what is skimming? Skimming is a fast reading method to get a general idea of the text. It helps you know what all the text is about. It also helps you to find the main ideas of the text quickly. So if we want to find the main ideas of a text and we don't have, if we don't have enough time, we are skimming. How to skim? Hmm. Let your eyes run quickly along the text. Read quickly the titles and subtitles and retain them in memory. Read the first and last sentences of the paragraph. Another method of reading is scanning. Okay, what is scanning? It is a reading method that allows you to find information quickly, such as dates, names, percentages, certain types of words, such as verbs, noun, adjective, etc. How to scan? Zoom on the test with your eyes and ready mind looking for specific data, such as a date, a number, a name, etc. Now that you learn these methods, for we are on the beginning of learning, we will apply these reading strategies on the test, on the uh, paragraphs of our reading text. But before of it, I would like to focus with you on the vocabulary, some basic vocabularies of our unit two, that its name is food. Okay. What are our vocabularies of the unit two food? Okay, the name of our text is the food of Indonesia. So let's to have a beginning with our vocabularies. Farming, okay, farming is a noun. What does it mean? Farming means growing crops or producing animals products. Okay, growing crops or producing animal products, the meaning of the farming. It's our first word. Thank you very much for listening. Number two, our second word is full stall. It is again a noun. It means a large table or a small building that is open at front used for selling food. So if we want to give an example about the food stall, we, uh, he has cooking for the guest at the full stall. So, again, what is the meaning of the full stop? Full stall, sorry. A large table or a small building that's open at the front used for selling food. Thank you very much for listening. Okay, our third word is groceries. It is a plural noun, groceries. What does groceries mean? It means the food you regularly buy in a store. Groceries means the food you regularly buy in a store. Our next words are herbs and spices. They are again nouns. It means, if you check the picture, please look at the picture, things used to add flavor to food. Herbs and spices mean things used to add flavor to food. Okay. Industry. Industry. It is again a noun. 
So industry means the people and organization involved in producing goods. The people and organization involved in producing goods. Plant. OK. Plant is a verb in our test. What does plant mean? To put trees, seeds, etc. in the ground to grow. Example, we planted trees and bushes in our new garden. So what is plant again? To put trees, seeds, etc. in the ground to grow. OK, another noun. A new word of our unit, too. Process food. Process food. So please try to guess what kind of food might be processed food. Food change from its natural state. Food change from its natural state. Processed food. OK, another word that is again a noun the substance of the surface of the earth in which plants grow. What is this noun? It is soil. What is soil again? The substance of the surface of the earth in which plants grow. OK. Thank you very much for listening the basic vocabularies. Now I would like to have a matching uh, exercises with you. OK, we have just talked about the vocabularies and about their meanings. So find the words in the test and match them with the definitions. Number one, do you remember what was farming? It is a noun. What was farming? Farming, growing crops or producing animal products. OK, growing crops or producing animal products. So, number one, farming will be matched with option C. One, farming will match with option C. OK, number two, food stall. It's again a noun. OK, do we remember what was food stall? A large table or a small building that is open at the front used for selling food. OK, so what will be number two food stall matching with? It will match with the G. It will match with the option G. OK, number three, groceries. It is again a noun. Do we remember what was groceries, the meaning of the groceries? the food you regularly buy in a store. So number three, groceries, will be match. We will matching it with uh, option F, the food you regularly buy in a store. OK, number four, herbs and spices. Again, group of nouns. Do we remember what was the meaning of them? Things used to add flavor to food, the things that giving an extra taste to the food. So number four, herbs and spices will be matched with the option D. OK. Number five, industry, another noun. OK. Do we remember what was industry? The people and organization involved in producing goods. So number five, industry will match with option H. OK. Number six, plant. Number six, plant. OK. So do we remember what was number six? Plant. OK. To put trees, seeds, etc. in the ground to grow. So plant, that is a verb, number six, will be matched with option E. Number seven, proceed food. Do we remember the number seven, the meaning of the number seven, proceed food? Food changed from its natural state. The food that is changed from its natural state. So seven, proceed food, will match with option B. <laughs> number eight, soil. That's another noun. 
Uh, the substance of the surface of the earth in which plants grow. So soil number eight, noun soil, will be a match with option A. Thank you very much for watching. So now I would like to have an introduction with our test of the unit two. We will analyzing the strategies that we learn, the methods that we learn, skimming and scanning with each of the paragraph of our text in detail. So for each paragraph, we will have 30 seconds. So this is our first paragraph. We will have 30 seconds for reading it. OK, good luck. Okay, thank you very much. The time is over. The time is up. Okay, let's to test ourselves. Question one. Name the country mentioned in the passage. Okay, let's to go get back to the passage. Okay. If we want to analyze the paragraph in details, how many lines does the paragraph has? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The paragraph has eight lines. So as we can understand immediately for the title, the food of Indonesia. Okay, and if we want to look at the paragraph carefully, the country that is mentioned in the passage is, is it option A, Korea? Is it Egypt, option B? Is it C, option A? Indonesia option C or is it the Malaysia of course it is Indonesia that describe the option C okay let's to test ourselves with another question how many times the names of the of the country is mentioned in the passage okay let's to go back to the paragraph okay please look at the first line please look at at the fifth line. So, can we see the name Indonesia in another line? No. So, as we will understand from the paragraph, the, uh, the country is mentioned in the passage twice. So, option A, two, option B, one, option C, three, option D, five. The true answer of the question is A. Because in the paragraph, the name of the country is mentioned twice on the first line and on the fifth line. Thank you very much for the paying attention. OK, we will have another question. Where is Indonesia situated? To answer this question, let the two terms Indonesia and situated guide you to the answer. Also remember what I said about reading the first and last sentences in the passage. Okay, if we want to go back to the paragraph. Situated, let's to look together uh, at the first line and sentences. Situated in a warm tropical region, Indonesia has a lot of rain and sunshine and therefore has the perfect climate for a long growing season. So how is the um, region and situated, uh, situated um, <coughs> uh, how is the uh, Indonesia situated according to the first line? Okay. Let's to see the options. A, it is situated north of Turkey. B, it is situated in the Middle East. Option C, is it situated in a warm tropical region? Situated in a warm tropical region. That is on the first 
line of the first paragraph. So the true answer of the, this question is C. Okay. Where do the most of the people in Indonesia work? Option A, in industry. Option B, in commerce. Uh, option C, in farming industry. Let's to go back again to our paragraph. Okay, if we are looking at the last sentence, a large percentage of the population works in the farming industry and the country gets a lot of income from this. So as we can see on the last sentence, okay, uh, the, most of the people in Indone Indonesia work in the farming industry. So the true answer is option C. Now let's move to the test paragraph applying the same scheme and scan strategy. Paragraph 2. Okay, we had a nice beginning with the paragraph 2 and we practiced the scheming and scanning methodologies with the paragraph 1. We will go on with the other paragraphs of our test. Okay, please with the paragraph 2, okay, we will have again 30 seconds. Okay, the time is over. Okay, let's to have a beginning with a question. How many names of plants or crops are mentioned in the text? Let's to look together. Okay, hmm, how many lines does this paragraph have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, please pay attention to the Red lines vocabulary, clove, cinnamon, cocoa, coffee, tea, and rubber. Okay, we will see these crops in the first line, fifth line, and in the last line of the paragraph. So, how many are mentioned? One, two, three, four, five, and six. So, how many plants or crops are mentioned in the text? As we see, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yes, the true option, A, three, B, four, C, six, and D, zero. So the true answer of this question is option C. On which line is the word T located? A, line three, B, line two, C, line one, D, line 5. Okay, let's go back together to the paragraph. Okay, line 1, line 2, line 3, line 5, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. On the fifth line, the word T is mentioned. So, on which line is the word T located? Is the option A, line 3? Is the option B line 2? Is the option C line 1? No, it, the true answer is option D line 5. Okay, Indonesian climate is deal for A, planting and growing chestnut trees. B, growing most popular crops. C, raising children. D, manufacturing cars. Let's go back to the paragraph. Okay. Look at the first line. Indonesia's climate makes it deal for planting and growing most popular crops. So, Indonesia's, uh, Indonesia climate is deal for option B, growing most popular crops. Next question. Among the high value crops growing by farmer is option A, rubber, 
option B, cinnamon, option C, rice, option D, coffee. Among the high value crops grown by farmers is, let's to go back again to the paragraph, growing plants to eat is obviously important, yet many farmers also plant other crops of high value such as natural rubber. So if we look at the last line and at uh, the last sentence, high value such as natural rubber. So what is the uh, high value crops grown by farmer? It is option A, rubber. Okay, we already practiced the skimming and scanning methods with the paragraph one and two, paragraph two from our unit two text, the food in Indonesia. Let's to focus on the paragraph three now. Okay, we will have again 30 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds is over for our reading time. Okay, the farming industry influence. Option A, the country's economy. Option B, local food culture and customs. Option C, thousands of streets full stalls. Option D, the country's general public. Okay, let's to look at the second line and at the first sentence of our paragraph. The farming industry is important for the country's economy, however, it has also influenced the local food culture and custom. So, what does the farming industry influence according to our first sentence and second line? It's influenced the local food culture and customs of Indonesia. So the true answer is option B. Okay, what is the price of most popular dishes sold on the streets of Indonesia? Okay, option E is, option A is one dollar. Option B is more than one dollar. Option C is under one dollar. Option D is two dollar and half. Okay, let's to go back of, uh, on our paragraph. Okay, please look at the last sentence with thousands of streets, food stalls selling dishes for under one USA dollar. They form an important part of the economy. So, what is the true answer? The true answer of this question is C, under one dollar. The dishes are sold on the streets of Indonesia. Okay, how many auxiliary verbs are used in the first sentence? How many auxiliary verbs are used in the first sentence? Option A, two. Option B, one. Option C, seven. Option D, four. Let's go back to the paragraph. Please focus on the first sentence. The farming industry is important for the country's economy. However, it has also influenced the local food culture and its customs. So, what is the verb in this sentence? The verb in this sentence is a past tense verb, influenced, but is and has are auxiliary verbs. So, if we want to count the auxiliary verbs of the paragraphs, there are two auxiliary verbs in the first sentence. Where are the Betapi located? Okay, 
the Betawi, who are a local group in the region of Jakarta, the capital of the Indonesia, are responsible for many of the streets' food. The region of Jakarta, the Betawi, who are a local group. Okay, so who are the Betawi? Oh, pardon, where are the Betawi located? A, Indonesia, B, USA, United States of America, number C, Jakarta, D, Tokyo. So, as we, as we have just seen on the paragraph, the answer is option C, Jakarta. Okay, now we will focus on the paragraph four. We will have again 30 seconds for reading. Thirty seconds is over. Thank you very much for reading. Okay, what happens in Indonesia as it grows richer and more urban? Option A: Local diets has, have gradually changed. Option B: More cars are used. Option C: People began to use airplanes rather than trains. Option D, the country became isolated. Okay, the question, what happens in Indonesia as it grows richer and more urban? Okay, look at the uh, first sentence. As Indonesia has become richer and more urban, the local diets have gradually changed. So, what is the answer of this question? Option A, local diets have gradually changed, as we can see it on the first sentence, on the first and second line. So the true answer is option A. Okay. What do supermarkets mostly sell? Option A, car parts. Option B, mask and disinfectants. Option C, proceeds, food and meat. Option D, vegetables and fruit. Okay. Uh, as we want to answer to this question, if we look at the last sentence, these stores mostly sell proceeds, food and meat products people demand. Okay. The answer of this question is C. Option C. Proceeds, food, and meat. What do supermarkets mostly sell? Proceeds, foods, and meat. As we can see on the last sentence of the paragraph four, the answer of the question. Uh, okay. The following are items mentioned in the paragraph. Okay. Option A, yogurt, milk, and cigarettes. Option B, sugar, rice, and banana. Option C, pineapples, meat, and sugar. Option D, diary, meat, and sugar. Okay, what are the items that are mentioned in the paragraph? Please look at the second line and second sentence. In particular, the amount of dairy, meat, and sugar people eat has grown. So the answer of this question is in the second, uh, the answer of this question, the following the, uh, are items mentioned in the paragraph that is describing in uh, paragraph four is on the second sentences. So the answer is dairy, meat, and sugar, option D. Okay, we will focus now on the last paragraph of our text. Again, we will have 30 seconds for reading.
Our time is over. The challenges facing the Indonesian food industry resulted from option A, lack of sufficient farming land. Option B, the change in people's lifestyle and diets. Option C, the devaluation of Indonesian currency. Option D, population uh, undergrowth. Okay, so option, uh, the answer of this question. For the answer of this question, let's go back to the paragraph. As lifestyle and diet change, there are many challenges facing the Indonesian food industry. So, what is the true answer of this question? Please uh, look at carefully on the first and second line, that is the first sentence of the paragraph 5. Okay, so the change in people's lifestyle and diets uh, these are the results from the Indonesian food industry. So the true option, the answer is option B. The true answer is option B. Okay. One of the reasons that will endanger the future of the food in Indonesia is option A, more land being used for crops people do not eat. B, high food price. C, uh, diminishing waves of middle class population. D, global warning. Let's go back to our paragraph. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Paragraph five, our last paragraph, has seven lines. So, an increasing population, more land being used for crops, people, do not eat and growing industries are all placing pressure on the future of food of Indonesia. Mm, more land being used for crops people do not eat. So what is the answer of this question? Again, one of the reasons that will endanger the future of food in Indonesia is more land being used for crops people do not eat. So the answer of this question is option A. Okay, how many times is Indonesia mentioned in this passage? Okay, look at the second line of the paragraph 5. We will see here the Indonesian that is mentioned this word. We cannot see it on the third and fourth line. We cannot see uh, at the fifth and sixth line, and we can see at the end also of the um, paragraph. So, the Indonesia, the word Indonesia is mentioned in this passage, option A twice, option B once, option C three times, option D none. So, the true answer of this question is option A two. Okay. Uh, Today we had focused on the, our reading skill, skillful book, unit 2, food, the food of Indonesia. So I think we practiced a nice class with the skimming and by using skimming and scanning methodologies on our text by focusing on each paragraph. Thank you very much for watching and listening me. And I really miss you, my lovely student. If you have any question and any problems, please don't hesitate uh, of testing or calling me. Uh, thanks for watching. See you soon. Have a nice day.